Joining us now is Bob Strang, the former co-chair of New York's anti-terrorism task force. Um, the police uh, and, and the mayor made it quite clear this was a terror attack. This guy was inspired by ISIS, apparently trying to do what ISIS has called on him to do. Bob, how do you stop an attack like this? Yeah, John, this is a tough one, and this is something that uh, in New York uh, we've been looking at for quite some time. We've seen it in Europe, and we know that this is the choice now for an act of terrorism. Yeah. Uh, it's very difficult to stop. I mean, many of the cases that you heard Commissioner O'Neill talk about were stopped by intelligence. They were stopped ahead of time. Uh, this is the kind of thing where there's no footprint, uh, there's no background information, there's no social, social media profile uh, to date that they can find. Uh, so it becomes a, a real issue for law enforcement because how do you stop someone who t wants to take a truck like this on any city block in, in, in New York or anywhere across the country and killing people? It's a very difficult thing to do. And in some respects, this uh, suspect did not fit the profile at all. Uh, generally, these the, the, the perpetrators of attacks like this are maybe 18 years old to 22, 23 years old, unmarried. Uh, you know, no, no real future. This is a guy who has a wife and kids and, and had been sort of building a business in, in the United States. Right. So here's a guy who's really, as you look at him, to your point, he's not disenfranchised in the community. He seems to be, he's an Uber driver. He uh, has a job, started a business apparently in Ohio, someone who's married with a family. Uh, he doesn't fit the profile. And that's one of the things that we have to be uh, very clear about, that when it comes to terrorism, when it comes to these kinds of uh, suspects and these individuals, these defendants, uh, they can come out of nowhere. And we've learned that, unfortunately. So the best intelligence, um, unfortunately, the best immigration policy that we have in place and enforcement at the border isn't always the answer. Um, as John Miller said this morning, uh, this is the kind of thing where this this individual was probably known to other active uh, targets of investigation, but was never a target himself. How many people are there like that out there? How mm -hmm. many people, how many targets out there that we know of that we can't even follow because we don't have the manpower, the FBI, the, the, the police department, Homeland Security? Um, it becomes a very difficult task for the government to monitor these things. The authorities learn something from every one of these attacks, and perhaps this one will also provide some lessons for the future. Bob Strang, I hope so, John. the former chair of the New York Anti-Terror Task Force. Bob, thank you.